a lot of time watching TV. I spend a lot of time online. I can't stand junk mail, specifically because of the tricky ways that they get you to open your junk mail. Because sometimes it's easy to spot what is junk mail and what is not. You go in your inbox, it's like, oh, there's an Evite letter from my parents, a yoga workout letter. And then one in bold will just say like, buy agri mail enhancement 42855 for you, fork ball season, mortgage rate, three, two, nine, chicken wing, <laughs> ice cream dinner, grass. I'm like, what? I'm not gonna open that one. Although ice cream dinner sounds delicious, it does. Uh, but they're tricky with the way they get you to open your junk mail because they use your name in the subject heading. I got one the other day, it just said, a response, Eliza, to your question. And I'm sitting there looking at it like, you know what? I did have some questions. <laughs> so glad someone took the time to get back to me and give me this, oh, virus. Well, should have seen that one coming. <laughs> price I pay, that's okay. I spent a lot of time online at work. I hate my job. I, uh, I have a boss, her name is Tammy. She's about 350 pounds, which is a lot for a woman or a elephant, I don't know. She's a, she's a handsome woman. And um, she took off her jacket the other day. No joke, it's a joke, yes, but for real. She took off her jacket the other day and I looked at the label. It's from a store called Dress Barn. This is an actual clothing store for plus size women. It's got the word barn in the title. What a horrible name. I feel like you walk in that store, you open the door, it doesn't even make a chime noise. You walk in, it's just like, <laughs> Clothe me in sheets, I've arrived. She's a big one. Oh, uh, she insists that we decorate our cubicles, cubicle culture, she likes to call it. Some of the um, men in my office that will probably never know the touch of a woman have uh, Star Wars action figures up in their cube, everyone's got one of these in their office. Don't touch them, Eliza, don't compromise the integrity of the packaging. <laughs> Chill out there, Wayne. Some of the lonelier women have Kathy comics pinned up in their cubes. I love Kathy. I love Kathy, cats, and chocolate. Three C's to happiness. <laughs> Tammy, at a healthy 350, has chosen to adorn her cubicle with wind chimes. She's collected them, okay? The only time these things ever make any noise is when she sits down and the negative space around her implodes, <laughs> creating this like whirlwind gust through the office. Every day at around 1.30, it's like whoosh, ding, ling, ling, ling. It's like, oh, Tammy's back from lunch. Don't turn on the AC. You mix cold air with that. We will have a tropical storm on our hands. No joke. Hurricane Tammy tearing through the office. <laughs> 